Hi, I'm Chris. I'm going to talk about the Seafarers of Catan. This is the expansion for Settlers of Catan. As you can see, what we have here is a very different island. If you're used to the basic version of the game, this is a very different setup. So the name of the game is called Seafarers. So uh, as you expect, uh, the new thing to do is you can build ships. So each player color uh, gets a set of ships that they can build. Uh, to build a ship it costs one sheep and one wood. New ships come out either touching existing cities or settlements or touching existing ships. Uh, ships go in between hexes just like roads do. In fact, they serve the same exact purpose as roads, only they go on water. Uh, roads tend to sink when they're on water, so you build ships instead when you're on water. So they can go along the coast like that, but once you start building either roads or start building ships connected from a city or settlement, you must continue building either ships or roads. So, for example, over here, you could not build a ship, so you can't mix and match. For example, over here, you could not build road. If you wanted to start mixing up, you would have to build a new settlement, and then you can start building ships, roads, whatever you want. Uh, so that's the benefit of uh, ships, is that you expand new islands. Um, there's also now a pirate piece. Uh, whenever seven rolls, you can you can move the pirate or the robber. If you move the pirate, it goes in the middle of the hex like this. What it does is no players can build ships along that hex. So if the pirate was here, it would block the red player from being able to build their settlement over there because they can't build a ship over there. It's not in this scenario, uh, but there's now also gold hexes. Uh, when gold hexes produce, uh, if you've got a city or settlement on it, you can take any resource of your choice instead of uh, having to pick one. You can just take anything you want. Uh, the longest road is now considered the longest trade route. Uh, so it's a combination of ships and or roads. So for example, this would be a road length of five uh, with the ships plus the roads. Um, so as you can see, this is a very different uh, scenario. Um, the game includes uh, a lot of new scenarios and uh, the ability to create your own scenario that you want. So it, it's a very uh, low impact expansion. doesn't have a whole lot of depth, doesn't add a lot of new complexity. What it does add is a lot of new variety because there's a lot of new setups and different things you can try. So if you really like the simplicity of Catan and you're just looking to spice things up a little bit but you want to keep it simple, you don't want to uh, to add a lot of complexity, then this expansion is perfect for you.